what's going on fellas? Jam Sky. I will be what's going on fellas? Jam Sky. If you like that intro, make sure to smash that like button, subscribe if you are new to the channel and you have not subscribed we are getting into the next episode of our pokemon red adventures let's go ahead and turn on that sound right there all right decided to put that last minute together because i thought something would be kind of cool for a change instead of the normal intro so i put that together and thought that was pretty cool so again if you guys did enjoy that make sure to smash that like button subscribe if you're new to the channel leave a comment if you enjoyed that um that little intro there right at the moment which was pretty cool so last time we got through mount moon and we are going to see what is going on earth what happened huh who do you think you're groping well, that's kind of weird uh you should have seen me in there i nailed that right on easily erg uh, impressive but without the moonstone we might as well have lost if you would let me finish my story i got the moonstone you got it. Uh, it was just lying on the floor when the cave collapsed. Can't believe I'm nearly home. I'll wait for you in Cerulean City. Alrighty, so what with of that, we are going to go ahead and continue. And what's interesting is that this little cave here, it's funny that it's got gym music, even though it's not a gym. Dojo Brothers Lair. P.S. We hate each other. Apparently they hate each other because one of them has Mega Punch. Yeah, one of them has Mega Punch, the other has Mega Kick, which is interesting. Uh, but yeah, so it is quite interesting. So if you want to learn those two moves, they are right there at the outside of Mount Moon, going to Cerulean City. Uh, there is actually, if we talk to this person right here, uh, what are you doing here? Haha. <laughs> uh, you see these two sparrows? They were abandoned by their trainers. I have been looking after them ever since. So it's quite interesting. You got two sparrows there. We got an item right here that we will pick up, which is a potion. And what's interesting enough is there's a Pokemon that I actually want to capture because I played a little bit to a head. I didn't save, but I played a little bit of this after to figure out what else I can do and whatnot. Um, but no spoilers, that's for sure. We did run into this guy right here, so this is what we're actually going to capture. It's quite interesting, I want to show you guys exactly why. So we're going to put it to sleep, capture it with our Pokeballs. We were actually able to capture it a few times. So we have three Pokeballs, which we will end up getting more Pokeballs soon. But we will go ahead and capture this thing. Kangas Kid. And what's interesting is the cry wasn't unknown, if you actually heard that. And funny enough, it shows it up as a Rattata. Which is interesting, but it still puts question marks at the front of Pokemon. So, it's pretty interesting. It really, really is interesting. Uh, the cry is somehow... So it does look like a Kangaskhan sprite from here. But it sounds like it's an unknown, yet it says it's a ground type, which is quite interesting. Not sure if we'll actually use this in anything, uh, but it would be interesting to actually train up. So maybe we might keep it, I don't know. We could put the uh, EXP share on it. So what we're going to do is we're going to quickly go to the Pokemart here, buy some items because we're going to need a boatload of items. We're going to need more Pokeballs. We're going to need some more potions. So that's what we're going to do, buy some stuff that we need. Antidote, we could possibly use some antidotes. We'll buy four of them. Paralyzed heals. We'll definitely need some paralyzed heals, because that's what we need. Okay, I don't think we have anything that we can sell. Yeah, we don't have anything we can actually sell at the moment, which is fine. Um, but with that, we'll go ahead and heal up at the Pokemon Center. Funny enough that there's a Marsh stop there, which is quite interesting. So we will get to that in a quick second. Alright, so we healed up. That is what we need to do. Actually, let's first talk to these dudes over here. Herp derp, uh, see, herp derp, herp derp, herp. Uh, why can't I catch a Staryu in the gym? I have searched everywhere. 
Star, you aren't found in the gym. Derp. Uh, you know, uh, Aethistu uploaded a Word document that contains the location of all the Pokemon, right? Nah, I'd rather waste my time and send him an email instead of sending 10 seconds or spending 10 seconds to open up the Word document. Interesting. So apparently he's got a, uh, a Word document that has all the locations of where you can catch what Pokemon. Interesting. Derp derp, I have herpes. Derp derp, what? Derp, never mind. Uh, my Ivysaur won't evolve, even though uh, Aethistoad have stated many times that Ivysaur evolved by a special item that I will get later in the story. Interesting. Okay, so it's good to talk to these people because they give you good advice. Not really advice, they give you information that you probably would have not known playing through this normally. Uh, do you want to go somewhere? Uh, we don't want to go somewhere at the moment. So Ivysaur won't evolve unless we have a special item, but we still need to figure out what level uh, Bulbasaur will evolve, which I think that's going to end up being a later level as well, instead of being level 16. But funny enough, we have a Marsh Stomp right here, which is quite interesting. He jumps into the water. What was that? And that's pretty much it for that little thing right there. Let's go ahead and see what's going around. Do you need help? Uh, she couldn't hear me. Uh, did she just... Uh, these waters... It's cold. It's cold. I must have halluc... I must be hallucinating. Hmm. There's a theory right there. Is she the ghost girl? Is she the ghost girl from, um... The, uh... I can't remember, but... I, uh, unless it's from... Oh, I can't remember. Oh well. But it could be that ghost girl, which is quite interesting. Let's see what's going on. Uh, you're here too? Uh, do you, let's see, do not talk to me like that. I am the Cerulean City f uh, Flower. He's a flower? Interesting. But I wonder if that was the ghost girl. That was from um, a few episodes, or not a few episodes, like from one of the uh, the Pokemon episodes on television, you know. Interesting. Anyways, never mind. Let's talk to Misty. Uh, what what took you so long? What took me so long? Hello. It is my first time here. You kept on running ahead for no reason. Come on, it's getting late. You you, you can stay over at my place for tonight. Alright. Ooh, she's got many beds. This house is huge. It's not really your house, is it? Uh, it sure is. Uh, Lady Misty, the guest room is ready for your friend. Thank you. Lady Misty, dinner is also ready. Okay, you can stand by. Come on, Jam, let's eat. Alright, guess we're going to eat some food with uh, the Misty. Uh, these foods are fresh off the oven. Please enjoy, Lady Misty. Uh, a few moments later. So then I had a had to fight all these uh, Team Rocket grunts by myself while Misty is sleeping. And it only took me a couple of minutes to kick all of their butts. Uh, listen up, Jam. I need to talk to you. Uh, what do you want to talk about? How about I, uh, ha about how I kicked everyone's butt while you were asleep? Uh, shut up. Your po our Pokemon are almost done healing. When they are fully healed, we should do some serious training. Training? Yeah. The guys we fought back at Mount Moon were most likely the low-ranking members. This means the next opponents will be even stronger. Jeez, don't get your underwear in a knot. What? Uh, people like them might scare you, but I can pound them down easily. So you want to get hurt again? Uh, if you had saw me in battle, you wouldn't be saying that. Idiot. Ah, uh, you don't have to take that comment personally. Hmm. Well, I guess it's time for sleep. Alright. I guess we go back into here. And this is our bed. Oh, there we go. Hmm. Oh, start you. Or star me, actually. Uh, what is that? I can't see it in the dark. It's a star me, that's what it is. A wild star me. Level 25. Ooh. Should we be able to take it on? Recover. Not sure why I went for recover, but okay. Gonna go for the razor leaf. 
Rapid Spin isn't doing too much, which is fine. We can easily take it down. Swift. Alright, we can live that. That's fine. And that was super effective. There we go. Level 23. And we beat Starmie. It's gone. Uh, is somebody after me? Cerulean City must be full of strong trainers. Uh, do you need help, Mr. Jam? Haha, <laughs> yes. Who is the gym leader of Cerulean City? I'm going to kick his butt. Wahahaha. <laughs> Uh, what's so funny? I can beat him, whoever it is. So you want to fight the Cerulean City Gym Leader? You can find the Cerulean City Gym Leader at the Cerulean City Gym. So that is what we are going to do now, I guess. If we, let's see. Yeah, we'll need to heal up. So we are going to heal up and we are going to battle the gym. Which obviously we know it's Misty. It's interesting how the, um how she says that this the gym leader will be in the gym, yet then she disappears, yet we know it's Misty. I don't know why the uh, our person thinks that it's a guy, but okay. Um, so let's see, let's put the EXP share onto Kangas Kid. And then we'll go ahead and level him up. So we've got the gym leader. Hey, are you the gym leader? Answer me, are you the gym leader, jerk? That jerk is me. Wah ha 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 ha. No, really, Misty. Where is he? Ah. Wait a minute. Not in, uh, not in mood for a fight. Well, how would you feel if I said I was the one who attacked you last night? No way. Well, if you say so, you will regret it. Let's go. Find whip. Oh, sir, now. What? No way. Erg. Um, uh, ran out of potion options. Uh, Misty, why all of a sudden you are... I thought, Sniff Sniff, I thought you knew how I felt about us as a team. I just defeated you with Starmie, but Starmie wasn't good enough back in Mount Moon. Don't you see? Uh, if we don't get better, they'll destroy us. We have to be as strong as possible, we have to use teamwork. Uh, she did all of this for me? You gotta stop crying, I will fight Team Rocket with you. Sniff sniff, then we have to go through a lot of training first. Let's begin when your Pokemon have recovered. Okay, so I guess that's what we're gonna do. Uh, we are recovered, so we will go ahead and go back to the gym, I guess? All right, and see, I am one of Misty's maids. I won't let you fight Misty until you show me a star. You take this fishing rod now and go catch a star. You in the Cerulean City Lakes. We have to find a star. You and catch it. What? Um. All right. I guess that's what we're doing. It's like she's having us do chores for some odd reason. So I guess we're having to fish for a Pokemon, which happens to be Staryu, so that is what we're just going to do. We're just going to see if we can't get something, not even a nibble. Let's try over here, maybe? See if there's anything we can get. So we got something on the hook. Hopefully, yep, there it is. We got a Staryu. So what we are going to do is we're going to switch into Poliwhirl here put it to sleep and hopefully we can catch it. It's gonna go for Harden, it's gonna go for the Hypnosis, and we'll just try and catch it right on the spot. Alright, go to our bag here, go to our uh, Pokeballs and then start chucking. Hopefully we can catch it. Oh, it woke up. Alright. Um, let's go ahead and I don't want to kill it, but let's go for the water gun. Okay, that kind of killed it. Not really what I was hoping for. So we are going to have to fish for another one, which is fine. Go ahead, and let's go ahead and save real quick, just because. So we'll go ahead and save, just because we can. We don't want to save again because we already saved. Okay, let's fish for 
if we can fish for a star me or star you actually come on let's try over here again there we go should be it yep level five star you and what we need to do is instead let's put a leech seed on it put a leech seed on it and then we'll switch into our polywhirl and put it to sleep so that's what we'll do it's a good tactic we've got the leech seed which is good and we have the hypnosis so that is what we want and then we should be able to start chucking balls and possibly catch it. So that is what we'll do. Go to our Pokeballs, start chucking. See if we can't catch it. There we go. Just like that. Good strategies always win. So now we have a Staryu. Uh, we're not going to nickname it, but we will go back and heal up. Just because we can. And I think, I think we're fine actually, I don't think we need to heal up. So, uh, we are good. So I don't think we'll use Staryu. So let's go ahead and talk to you. Impressive, now for the second challenge. Defeat me in a battle. Alrighty. We can do that. Tentacool, we can easily take that on with Razor Leaf. Just like so, it's going to use Constrict. We're going to go for our Razor Leaf and we take it out. Boom. Awesome. Level 9. Cool. Level up the Kangas Kid. Congrats, you have passed. Why did she jump to the water? Hmm. Interesting. Not sure why she jumped into the water, which is weird. Let's actually see if. The rod can be the rod can be used, but the question is, can we catch anything? Yeah, we can. Okay, it's just a level one star. You, that's funny. Okay, that's fine. Let's go on ahead. Okay, quite interesting. Got a boatload of starmies. Okay, so what we'll do is. Let's go back and quickly heal up. I think we can box Star You, because I don't think we need Star You. So that is what we'll do. We'll heal up. We'll put Star You into our PC, because I don't think we need it anymore. Okay, go to our PC here. Go and deposit Star You, because I don't think we will need it. <clears throat> And then we can go ahead and take on the Misty. So that is what we'll do. Let's go ahead and save right here. Alright, saved. And we will go ahead and battle the Misty. Hopefully we can win. It's got two. We got Star You and a Star Me, so it should be pretty easy. The Rapid Spin. We can easily take that, go for the Razor Leaf. Easily super effective. Bulbasaur is the best. It's level 10. Cool. And it's gonna go. She's got Starmie. Level 25. Recover. We've got our Razor Leaf. Can easily take it on. And she's gonna go for a potion. Which was kind of dumb on her end, I think. Uh, rapid Spin. We can easily live that. It's not gonna do much. So we've got our Razor Leaf, which will do a whole bunch. Confuse Ray. Hopefully we can bypass the confusion. Yep, there we go. And we beat Starmie, just like that, and we get the badge. Level 11. Cool. Uh, your training is complete. Uh, you're ready, Jam. Let's fight to save Team... Uh, fight to save Pokemon for Team Rocket. From Team Rocket, take this Cascade Badge. It powers up your Pokemon. I got the Cascade Badge. Uh, take this TM Water Pulse. It will help you in your fight against Team Rocket. TM03. Awesome. Good luck, Jam. See you around. See you, Misty. Thanks for everything. So we finally 
we finally got our second gym badge, which is right here, the Cascade badge. Awesome. So now we can go ahead and get out of this here gym, and we can go ahead and continue on to where we need to go. What's going on here? It's over. I can't trust you at all. Uh, so what are you trying to say? You don't want to be with me anymore? Hmm. Interesting. They seem to be blocking the way, but that's all right. Let's go ahead and heal up once more, just because we can. Alrighty. We did that. Let's go ahead and go into the bike shop here. We're selling bikes for 10 million. That much for a bike? Uh, what do you expect? This uh, Pokemon world. A uh, ticket for a cruise ship is free, but bikes are for 10 million. Um, I mean, that's that's still expensive. I, mean, I think we still get a uh, bike voucher. So, let's see. What? According to legend, Cerulean City used to be like Pewter City. Then one day, a whale like Pokemon came and created the lakes in Cerulean City. Hmm. Would it be Whale Lord or would it be Kyogre? See, there's something right there. Uh, let's see what's going on in here. What do you give us? I know there's something lurking in Cerulean Waters. I know there's something in there. Uh, don't you believe me? I mean, there could be something in there. Not sure what it would be. So I think we've gone to everywhere except for a few houses. There's probably not much in them anyways. Uh, water type Pokemon are weak against Thunder type. Make sure you switch out your water Pokemon if you are facing a Thunder type Pokemon. Yup, we understand that completely. Uh, do we want to go downwards? I think we. No, we came from the side. We can go down if we want to. But I don't think. We don't have a map, so. I think what we'll do is we'll just continue upwards. Let's go ahead and across the bridge up here. See what's going on. Uh, if I were human still, let's see. Uh, if I were human still, human, I would pick uh, this thing up easily, huh? A Pokemon that can talk? What's the matter? Something scare you? Uh, I might look like um, mutated Rattata, but I'm actually an expert on Pokemon. Oh, this is Bill. The name's Bill, huh? Oh, well. There goes Bill. <laughs> Don't just stand there, help. He needs my help. Where did that pharaoh fly off to? Well, bye Bill. Um, let's see what's over here. So there's nothing over here except for water. Let's see anything in the grass area. Just Pidgeys probably. Alright. So... We will go ahead and fight this person since they want to battle anyways. A Venonat. Pretty sure we can easily take on a Venonat. Okay, so what we actually need to do here is let's switch into Pikachu actually. See if Pikachu can do some damage. Confusion. We can take that. Go for a Thunderbolt. There we go. Take on that Venonat easily. And Bulbasaur is level 24. Level 12 for King's Kid. We've got one more Kakuna. We can easily do a Thunderbolt on that pretty easily. Just like that. Alrighty, finished off you, Bug Catcher. We got Pidgeys up into the grass. There's actually an item right over here. An amulet coin, that's actually going to be helpful because that helps with money, I believe so. Hey, there we are. Save me. Okay, I'll knock it out with a thunder attack. What? No, I'll get fried if that happens. Go find another way. Um, I mean, I'm not sure. We need to find another way. So does he want us to go to his house? Is that what he's talking about? So I think he has some kind of device in his house. That's probably what it is. So we will go ahead and do that. Grab up this item here. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> go ahead and run. Pick up this potion here. There we 
got a Pidgey, so that is cool. We'll go ahead and run from that. And we will go to his house right over here. Uh, let's see if there's found bird feed. Okay, so that's probably what we need. Bill's PC contains information on Pokemon. So that is probably what we need to pick up. Let's go ahead and get back to Bill. What's uh, going on with you? Wait. Okay, we can't talk to you. Okay. That's fine. We'll go ahead and get back to Bill. Use the bird feed and possibly get Bill back into human form. Not sure why he turned himself into a Rattata. I thought it was something else that he turned himself into, but oh well. Nonetheless, we are saving a Bill, which is a good thing. Because Bill always likes to uh, mess around with with being Pokemon and whatnot. It's working. Okay, attack it now. So that is what we will do. Level 20 Pharaoh. See if a Bulbasaur can do some damage on it. Go for the Razor Leaf. Yeah, that's not going to do a whole lot of damage, so that's why we will switch into Pikachu here. Okay, well that was a crit. It's a good thing we needed Pikachu anyways. Thunderbolt. Take it out, just like so. Alrighty. Uh, thank you, Kid. Can you please take me back to my seaside cottage? Uh, well, I better take Bill to the seaside cottage. Let's see. Okay. So let's check our bag then. And we don't have anything. Okay, that's fine. Didn't know if he was a key item or anything, you know. Because he kind of went into our bag unexpectedly. So, there is that. But nonetheless, we are taking him back to the cottage. And we will run into a battle here, so... That is what we'll do. Oddish. We have our Poliwhirls. We'll use Ice Beam. There we go. One more should do the trick. Ice Beam. There we go. Ice Beam for the win. Level 22. Sweet. And level 13 for King's Kid. <clears throat> so now we can go ahead and continue to the Seaside Cottage once we run from this here battle. <clears throat> Alright, into the cottage. Okay, you see that PC to the left? Uh, turn it on and activate the transporter when I'm inside. Thank you, kid. Alright, he's going to get inside the transporter, and we are going to... Should I start the transporter? Yeah, why not? Okay, here goes. Ooh. So he was a Rattata as well with his Rattata. Interesting. Woo, what a day. I could have done it without you. Uh, without your help. Thanks, kid. So what is that? Uh, this is my Pokemon transporter. That's awesome. Uh, it's not finished yet. I still have a couple of bugs to fix, though. Anyway, uh, like I've said before, the name's Bill. I'm Jam. I'm on a mission to become the greatest Pokemon trainer ever. That's a great goal. Uh, tell you what, kid. I'm going to help you out here. I'm going to upgrade your Pokemon storage system. Uh, I have upgraded your Pokemon storage system. You can now hold more Pokemon in your PC. Good luck. Cool. So he uploaded, updated our PC box so we can now have more Pokemon in the PC box, which we haven't caught a whole lot that we can actually box, which is alright, but I'm pretty sure further along we will be able to catch a boatload of Pokemon, put them into the PC if need be, and that stuff. Hey, now we can get this kid. Sweet. So we are coming up to our final minute, which we're at 29 minutes. So we will go ahead, get to the Pokemon Center, heal up, and we'll go ahead and end off today's episode. Go ahead and save. Well, not save just yet. Heal up. <clears throat> Alright, so we'll go ahead and save. We did a lot. We fought Misty, helped Misty get back to the gym, saved Misty, 
we saved Bill, and with that, if you guys enjoyed it, make sure to smash that like button, subscribe if you are new to the channel, leave a comment if you enjoyed it, whatnot. I'll see you guys in the next one, and as always, I'll see you later.